Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with even another another uh, modification of the Woodland Critters die from Lawn Fawn. So I am this time going to make a hippo. My mom challenged me to try to make a hippo when I was going through my colors of cardstock and I said I had some purple cardstock and she felt like purple was perfect for a hippo. Of course you could make him in some gray colors to be a bit more traditional, but I think it does uh, as a good example of why you don't need to use the natural animal colors. You are, of course, making cartoon animals. So I started with the um, light and dark purple. I chose the dark purple for the main part of the body and the feet, and then the light purple for the belly and face. This part here that's going to be part of his snout is the raccoon eyes that come as part of the die set. But I need to make the bottom of his mouth. And overall I was really trying to just use dies, but I had a hard time making a big hippo snout. So I just did a little bit of tracing and cutting instead. Essentially, I want something that is just as thick as this other piece of purple. However, I want it to be rounded. So I'm going to try to create something with that look. I'll lightly trace the edges and I'll make this my back side as well. So now I know this is the same width as the other die, but I want it to be round along the bottom. So I'm going to come in with this other face die that is round and use that to kind of help me connect them up. And so I hope that that, even though it's not just a straight die cut from the set, it's simple enough that you feel comfortable making that little piece of it on your own. And so then just kind of, you can draw those lines up a little bit, but we're gonna probably trim it a bit more. So I think this one is relatively quick. There's not a lot of pieces, but because you have to create your own mouth part. It does take a little bit longer. However, once you cut one mouth part that you like, you could trace a few. And I think that this could be another one that would be good for mass producing. Some of the other ones that I've done are a little bit more time consuming. They involve a lot of different dyes or cutting the same dye a lot of times. But this one is a little bit simpler. Okay, so somehow I messed that up. I thought I traced the, oh, I, so I traced the outside edge of the die, which wouldn't work. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot my own procedure here. So let's fix it up and we'll just, maybe it'll be easier to trace the die cut as opposed to tracing the die itself, but you just want to trace the inside. All right, snip off those. Then we should be good to go and it will create the mouth here. I'll want to glue it down and trim it up to kind of line up with my first example one that I made that I generally like the width of. So apparently I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. Sorry guys, so I'll line that up give him some room on his snout because yeah I still didn't cut it exactly right all right I'm gonna recommend instead <laughs> to just um, lay your top snout down over some purple paper and then maybe do the tracing and that will that might be easier because then you can just trim off the sides and you can center that small round eye on the other die and here I'm gonna cut off the extra so it maintains the look of a snout, that little bump on his nose at the top. Okay. For a little bit of detailing, I just want to draw with a thin lined purple marker underneath just to add a bit of definition to the mouth. There already is a shadow created and you could just keep that. But I personally liked the purple line better. 
You just use whatever you have to create that. And then, as I've done in the past when I created these um, larger mouths, you have to create the little nostrils that go on them. And so I'm going to create that again with the winky sort of eyes. They're like closed eyes with a little eyelash that come in the die set. And I'm going to turn them into nostrils. But there is a smile that you could use for nostrils. You could cut out two of the smiles and turn them upside down and make nostrils. I personally like the little eyes better. So it's this die where they have a little eye with an eyelash that are closed. I like those as nostrils. So just a teensy tiny bit smaller, but you have to fuss with the idea of cutting off the eyelash. I did put Elizabeth Crafts tape behind this paper before I die cut so that way when I peel off the eyes they're already sticky on the back and it just kind of speeds up the process a bit. It's a little less fussy than trying to put down some liquid glue and honestly for me using the liquid glue yeah multimedia matte does dry clear and matte and all that jazz but it does, it is still a little bit noticeable when it kind of comes out the sides. So I prefer to just use tape adhesive when and where I can. So two nostrils. Now all he needs to be done are two eyes. And so I will, I have those die cut and I'm just going to be able to poke those on and they'll already have some adhesive on the back. The other thing that's a little bit tricky and fussy about creating the hippo is you have to curve his ears so they appear a little bit more rounded. You could create something to trace or you can just freehand cut the ears into a rounded shape. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, you can totally find something to trace. There are some different rounded edges of dies in the set that might do well. But I think it generally looks okay, as long as you just make a slight curve to it. Doesn't have to be perfect, don't have to take all this too seriously, of course. And then, mm, did a little better with my, with my second one there. And you can just kind of fuss with it till you like it. But then you have a hippo. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a couple other woodland critter modifications, so if you want to see a way to make some other animals, and if I haven't yet already invited you to, please leave some suggestions with some other animals you might want to see so I can give it a shot. I really enjoy finding more value out of this die than the original creations. I'll also leave you links in the video description to the products that I used. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.